August. Woo! <gasps> My tripod that I have you on just broke. Everything's falling. Okay, well, that's gonna get added to the list of things that's going to need fixed when I get back from my trip. Everybody, CR Media Gal here, also known as Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Please ignore the mini rain stain on my shirt. I may have just gotten back. I'm doing a bit of fall and Halloween hunting, AKA shopping, lunch as well. She explains the stain. I'm just clumsy. But anyway, I didn't do this last year and I actually thought I was gonna be really late in decorating for fall and Halloween this year. As it is, I am. It's August 8th. As if when I'm filming this video, I haven't decorated yet. And there's a reason for that. I am going on a summer vacation for the first time in years. Starting late next week, I'm going for 10 days. And I haven't decorated because I've got an adorable, wonderful, precious German Shepherd puppy who will very, very likely be mad that I'm gone and get into stuff while I'm gone. So I've been very hesitant to decorate. I'm just, I'm yearning for it. I'm craving it. So I figure at the very least, I'm gonna try and decorate a little bit of my bedroom and just keep whatever I can off the floor so that Mila doesn't get to it while I'm gone. And uh, hopefully she'll be good and not get into anything. There's the sweet, cute little culprit in question. And she's usually very well behaved. But with me being gone for the first time ever, I worry and I am 99% sure she's gonna try and tear this place apart in some way to uh, let my family member know that she's mad that mommy isn't here. This is like a fly by the seat of your pants kind of situation. I don't know if I'm just gonna kind of like decorate a little bit for fall and then maybe decorate later when I get back for Halloween. Usually, at least in my bedroom, I do everything all at once. So we'll see. This is so late for me. Usually by now I would be fully decorated throughout the entire house for fall and Halloween. We're going to give it a shot. So I'm going to grab everything out of my closet. I did organize it for the first time last year by fall or Halloween. So I'm just going to get the fall things out first and we'll go from there. My room at the very least needs some sprucing up before I leave. My pumpkin spice Soul needs a little bit of that serotonin, so we're gonna give it a shot. Apparently I have one bin of fall and two bins of Halloween. Two bags here as well. I think I'm gonna end up getting all of them out, but we'll at least, we'll start with the fall and see where we get. This pumpkin blanket, I used it for the first time last year, but I have so many fall related blankets at this point. I really don't feel like I need this one. I shouldn't have bought it. Like these two colors I love for fall, but not so much the mint green. I'm not in love with that. I might actually try to sell this on my Poshmark. The Poshmark. Link, by the way, is always in my description box if you ever want to shop my closet. Would help support this channel a lot if you did, to be perfectly honest with you, because it's not doing so well these days. This is gonna be a maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna end up using this this year. Mila got to this last year. You see that? Maybe I thought I could salvage that by painting it. From this side, you can't tell too much. Sure, I'm gonna be able to use that either. So off to a really interesting start.
forgot about this mug. That's cute. I'll decorate with that for sure. you can even see her. Mila. <sighs> Maybe we're going to be decorating for both fall and Halloween after all. Already going through this stuff, so I might as well get it out. keep wanting to paint this like a darker more rustic orange and I never get around to it maybe this year will be the year but for now I just want to get it up that's what she said <laughs> ran right into that joke didn't I all of these areas that I'm showing you are probably going to be updated and change a gazillion times and flip things around as I go but let's at least Get things going. Don't really want to put anything on this shelf because Mila might get to it while I'm gone. But I think maybe if I put something like right there, maybe it'll stay back there. I want to put this rug down. I absolutely love this. I think this is from the Hearth and Hand line. That or Threshold from a couple of years ago. It's got this beautiful little fox on it with some fall leaves and it says, welcome fall. Like Mila might just chew it up. So I might, I mean, I'll put it down for the sake of the video so you can see where I'm gonna put it ultimately, but I'm gonna probably have to put it right back into storage until I get home because I just don't trust her. You haven't seen me in a couple hours, uh, mainly because I have just been completely overwhelmed. And I think a lot of it is because I have piles of things that can't really be put away yet because some of it is for filming content that I've yet to do. <laughs> some of it is for packing for my trip. Some of it is just everyday life things that I have to keep out and about for now. So like, I don't know, it, it's... <laughs> Done a couple things, you know, like I've, I've hung up some new garland. I got that from Michael's on major clearance. I actually want to get some more of that and string it across my TV stand because that's looking a little bare right now. Hi. I also draped this leaf garland across this. I don't really love the way it's looking, so I'm probably going to fix that. Put these pumpkin clips up on this little greenery thing that I've had for ages. It's in a little like cauldron pot that I keep out year round. Pumpkins here and there. I hung this garland across this mirror and don't love how it's looking. So I'll probably fix that later. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've done a little bit here and there. I've, I've made at least an attempt. It's nowhere close to looking how I would like it to look. And again, I just have piles of stuff everywhere that like, just kind of keeps getting moved around because I can't necessarily put it away. So it's just not looking great right now. I figure I will kill two birds with one stone. Mila's here with me. Do a quick haul with you guys because I was intending to film this anyway. It's a really gloomy day here if you didn't notice. That's why the lighting is not particularly great. Mila, yes, do you want to be in shot, Mila? I would love for you to be in shot. Would you like to be in shot? Look at how beautiful you are. Look at how pretty you are. You're so pretty. Oh, oh, yes, yes, oh. So I thought we could do a little bit of a 
Bath and Body Works haul. So I hope you don't mind that I'm combining the two. A little bit of decorating, a little bit of hauling, but they're two of some of my favorite things. So if you've been sticking around with my content all this time, hopefully that's your kind of content too. I tend to only really shop with them, honestly, over fall and Christmas time. I made two recent trips there, including the second one was today. Start with my first purchases. I really just wanted to see all of the fall and Halloween content when it first came out in my area. So I just went there to browse and one of the things I ended up picking up is beautiful fall leaf wallflower plugin. I just thought that was gorgeous, particularly with like the gold outlining. This apparently does light up when you plug it in. So that's really pretty. And I think it projects the maple leaf onto your wall. I got my Headless Horseman Halloween um, wallflower plugin last year. So now I have this one. And I also actually have another one that I purchased back in the spring. I'm just gonna throw it in here so you guys can see what it looks like. I got it off of Poshmark actually. And I've decided that this will be my like year round wallflower plugin that I'll keep up in my bedroom. It's this really pretty house one with all of these fall leaves on it. Gorgeous, it does light up. I figure I'll get this one out come fall time. And then all of their car fragrances were on sale. And I've actually never purchased any of those before. So I got my favorite scent. I got three of the leaves. Oh, I love that so much. And then as far as the actual like car plug-in, I got one, the pumpkin spice one, which I intend to keep in my car year round. I have no idea how well these like fragrances last or for how long. Let me know because I'm really hoping I can get like several months worth out of each of these, but I don't know. This isn't necessarily fall themed. I was way too curious and I really wanted to check out their Stranger Things candle line. I gotta tell you, I was pretty disappointed in the scents, especially the pizza one. I thought that smelled horrible. Thankfully though, all of their candles were half off, which is good too, because Bath and Body Works is, their candles have gotten way too expensive. And I grabbed the last one of this. It was just, the scent was too good. Eleven's Waffles. And this, it smells like an Eggo. It smells like a syruped Eggo. Exactly how you would expect it to smell. I love that. I can't burn candles too often anymore because they kind of just like give me a, a general headache. I think this will be a nice one to burn just on occasion down in the kitchen. Yes, it's not fall, but it has that really warm, cozy, bakery smell. If you've smelled this, you know what I mean. I love that smell. It smells so, so, so good. It's making me crave waffles and I haven't had waffles in a couple of years. On my second trip to Bath and Body Works, I got just a couple things. I'd actually seen it online this morning. I've, I've never bought one of their pocket back holders, but I saw this one and I just knew it had to be mine. It's me in a pocket back holder. A fox holding a pumpkin spice coffee. That's me. So I knew I had to pick this up. I decided I would make the trip out there just for this. This was not on sale, so this was full price. $7.95, totally worth it. I'm gonna put this on my purse immediately. And then while I was there, I realized that all of their hand sanitizers were on sale. So I bought all fall themed ones. I got pumpkin apple. I got flannel, which is a scent I really like that one. Marshmallow pumpkin latte. Never one of my favorite scents, but it's okay. Um, and then I got warm vanilla sugar. Doesn't have the fall packaging, but that's okay. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin. The Halloween artwork for this year. Lastly, I got brown sugar toaster treat. That smells pretty good. This one actually, it smells kind of Christmassy to me more than fall. So yeah, I'm fully stocked on hands sanitizers for quite some time, so that's good. And then since I'm going on my trip next week, I decided to pick up a mini body wash and I got the marshmallow pumpkin latte. It was really the only mini fall themed one that they had, so. And then I also needed a new bath sponge anyways, so I just picked this one up from Bath & Body Works as well. I loved the color. That was all I got from Bath & Body Works. Half of me wants to just go ahead and pull out all of my Halloween stuff. And a part of me is like, don't even open that can of worms. You're already overwhelmed. Just take a break. You'll find out in the next slip <laughs> what happens. I don't know yet.
three days later. So it's like several days later. I feel like I just keep moving piles around, but um, I'm slowly making progress. Different piles put away, at least like somewhere out of sight for now, so I can at least show you guys what I've done. My goal is to finish this today. I need to finish this because I desperately need to start tackling other things in preparation for going away. I don't think it's going to be like the full shebang like it's been in past years, but at least for now, I have something to come back to. Let me show you what I've done so far. I had a pile of crap just sitting up here. Put that away. So now there's a lot more room here. I don't know if my headless horseman guy is gonna stay there. He might get moved. You know, a couple pieces here and there. This desk has really become a dumping ground over the past like year and a half since I got Mila. I've had this sitting here for ages. Been around here for a while. You might remember this print. I got this um, last year and showed it in a fall and Halloween haul. I've never gotten around to hanging it because I was trying to find a frame and mat for it. I found this one on Timu and I made sure to like check the measurements before I bought it. I like it. It's a, it's a nice frame, but like the mat doesn't quite fit right. As it turns out, like it's cutting off the edges. So I think I'm going to have to at least try and find um, a different sized mat for this picture. But for now, I just want to get this on the wall up here. That's where I'd like to put it. Just so it's not just continuing to take up space on my desk. So I'm gonna frame this and get some of those Halloween bins out and we will see what we get up to today to finish this up. Why does it take me over a year to do like the simplest of tasks? Make it make sense. have a couple things in this bin here of Halloween, mainly signs, some pillows that I'm just going to wait until later in the season, probably like mid to late September. And then I will put those out because I also have some Halloween bedding that I like to put out towards October. But up until that point, I like to have like my whole pumpkin spice theme around my bed, which I still have to do, but I've used almost everything. I'm also decluttering a couple things too as I go. Like this sign. Very cute. I got it at the Dollar Tree a couple years ago. Believe it or not, there are people on Macari and Poshmark trying to sell this for like 20 or 30 bucks. Do not pay that. This was like a dollar. I'm just gonna save that for an upcoming garage sale. I think I'm gonna get rid of this little ceramic guy. I've never really loved this one. 
I have a couple more things in this bin too that I might decide to donate or save for an upcoming garage sale because they're just not my style anymore. So it's nice that I'm also decluttering a bit too as I go. I did put a couple pieces in my bathroom as well. Pardon the lighting. I put a little jack-o'-lantern here and a little jack-o'-lantern over here. Pardon my feminine care products here, but I put some <laughs> pumpkin themed hand soap out. And then I just have to put up a decorative hand towel. But other than that, I think we're gonna be pretty much done. I will, of course, show you the end result. Not loving the way everything looks and it definitely is looking a bit cluttered. It's gonna have to do for now. And I'm just happy I actually was able to decorate for the most part. I thought I'd be very half-assed in this, to be honest. But especially the stuff towards the ground will not stay there. But I'm gonna wrap things up here and then I will show you the final result. And then this that was placed out of sight for now. So sneak peek, I've definitely got to clean this up. This is a real chaotic decorate with me if there ever was one, but this is also my re real life, so. So much stuff to show you.
pause, please. Oh my gosh. I love you so much. Mama loves you. Sorry, upside down. Three of, oh, okay, I had it, ups I had it upside right. Thank you.